Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy FaZe Rug and today I'm bringing you all my first ever mukbang. The choice of food we got here is an entire seafood boil, one of my favorite foods of all time. But I didn't order all this food just for myself. Guys? Yeah! yeah! We got the whole family here, let's go! I swear, we heard food and we like just magically appeared in this house. Wait, Dad, oh. you don't like seafood, huh? I do. Lobster and shrimp. Well, we got you some lobsters and shrimp, baby. Look at this lobster real quick. Go That's get you crazy. some lobsters and shrimp. Larry the lobster, baby. Guys, I wanted to switch it up a little today. I've been doing a lot of challenges on my channel, and I'm like, why not just have a chill video, have my entire family in it. Just eat, tell <laughs> stories, have fun. Whoa, whoa, we're digging in. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. It needs some sauce. Ooh. Oh, Let's no. get some sauce Hold up, here. hold up. We got this sauce right here. Brian, I chose the wrong shirt to wear for a seafood boil. I don't want to mess up Devin Booker. Oh. I think this is the sauce that like you're supposed to just dip. It is, but yeah, we'll just we'll dip as well. All right, guys, my favorite thing from a seafood boil is king crab. It literally has the most meat, but it's so sharp. Like one time I actually bled from it. <laughs> but here we go. Satisfying. Oh, look at oh. that. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Oh. Thing, come, on. come on, fam. This is literally what I fall asleep to every night is just watching seafood boil. Bro. You just dip it in here. Ugh. Bro. Yeah. What's a seafood boil without some storytelling? Is it boil or broil? Boil. boil. Is it boil? Oh. You thought it was broil? I thought it was broil. Hey. Everyone always tells me it's broil. That no makes two of us. You know boil from Fairly Odd Parents? Yeah. <laughs> really? I wish they have the shrimp already peeled and stuff. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That's the best part. Though. Yeah, the fun part is peeling it off. That's you want to just go no, for it? Question. Yeah. What is the tail? The tail. I would, think the tail would be in the back. Tends to be in the back. Like right there. Because they have so many tails, I don't know which one. <laughs> this is the tail. I don't know how to eat this one. I usually only get king crab, snow crab, shrimp, but I never get the lot. <laughs> One story that I just know my mom used to tell me all the time. Please tell all the viewers out there watching about the story when a psychic came up to you at the mm. beach okay. when I was how old? My favorite, two. I was two when years he, old. When he was in a in a stroller, we were pushing him. We <laughs> okay, no, okay, I'm sorry. Look, I'm not no, laughing. I'm, I'm not, not gonna, gonna say this story. I'm not gonna I'm correct not, anyone's I'm English in this video. I'm okay. gonna embrace it. Okay. I mean, if we were to correct my mom and dad's English, this video would be an hour long. <laughs> and the sun wouldn't last. <laughs> <laughs> Would it have lost? <laughs> Would it have? Okay, for real, this one is a true, true, true story. We used to go to La Jolla Beach Run, remember? I remember. Brandon Brian, they were three and two. We were walking, I swear to God. There's a lady that she approached us. I couldn't tell if she was a psychic or like a, you know, fortune teller until she stopped and she said, excuse me, man, can I read this baby's fortune? Now, I'm like scared of those things. And I go, oh no, thank you, it's okay. She said, let me tell you something and I swear on my life I will never forget this little kid is gonna be something big in the future he's gonna be a leader he's gonna be something to talk about and she laughed Dude, I that's, swear to I'm that. sorry that's crazy so I was with my sisters and they still remember the same story how she said it and she just walked away that's crazy you know what would be crazy if we found out who it was and we went to go oh visit my god him. I wish and then I said where he's gonna be he's crying all day long <laughs> but look at him now hey I still cry High five. I still cry every he's day guys cry. very loud <laughs> she just literally predicted the future bro she like did. that's a great story I know we said it on the podcast but for those who didn't know about that oh, yeah. Yeah. Insane. Who's next? Dad, do you have any like just crazy stories? Like, I have one I used to chase you. Uh, take like your uh, Xbox. gaming stuff. Yeah. Oh, when, Guys, he okay. left, when he ran away from the house and came back after 15 minutes. Listen, listen, let me tell you this. So, Expose Brian for the bad kid he really was. Whoa, whoa. I was just like any typical kid who gamed. If their Xbox got taken away, they would throw a tantrum. Like, that's just how it is. So, oh, yeah. you guys would think I was bad just because of how much I would game. You're lucky I wasn't out in the street partying every day. Like, yeah, you guys true. should be grateful that I was inside 24 7 playing Call of Duty. Yeah, but you know, every mom and dad, they want their kids, they think study, 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 and go to school. You never it? thought your gaming will get you where this you are. That. Was, was like 12, 15 years ago? It was, um, I would say it was like 2010. Yeah, 2010. And then when I joined FaZe, is when you guys like kind of like but before phase yeah he um, he always like uh, play game at night you know play <laughs> during the day whatever you know so we need our boys you know to focus on the school like homework i never seen those two boys doing homework <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. is it true or wrong 
wrong. Okay, we never actually did the homework at the house, but we always got it turned in. How good they were. I just want to say something about studying. Like off topic, before what my dad is going to continue, like you already go to school for seven hours and you do so much work. Why do they send you home with more work? Sad. But you know, not to keep you from the streets and stuff. Or from video games. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay, so anyway, so he came from school straight, you know, turned on the computer and the game, and he said, and he put the headphone What color pajamas, pajamas does he wear? Uh, yellow, I think. Like, <laughs> green, green, yellow. I used to wear, guys, don't judge me, but in high school, I used to come home, and I would still be wearing penguin and dinosaur pajamas <laughs> as a freaking junior. You were still wearing the penguin pajama in our Father Son Chaldean show, the mm -hmm. blue penguin mm -hmm. one. Oh, mm -hmm. We gotta roll that clip. I wore that same set of pajamas up until high school, which is crazy. And you would wear your school clothes over the pajamas, so when you come home, you just pull up the shirt and you're in your pajamas. So anyway, um, yeah, when they come from school, I just say, it's a homework, right? And he's straight to the, turn on the computer and everything. I said, Brian, homework. He said, oh, we did the homework at the school. I said, oh, that was my favorite. you do homework at the school? <laughs> too much playing, too much playing every day. So sometimes I said, I go to his room and he's playing. I said, Brian, stop playing. Tomorrow you have school, you have to um, sleep and wake up early. And he's still playing, playing. And what I do, Brian, oh, no. you remember? very good right my dad would literally take my xbox the next morning he would wake up for work at 5 a.m and he would take yeah, it with him yes. to the store just yes. so when i would come back from school no, my no. xbox is not there i know why he would take it though because he knew my mom had a soft heart exactly so when papa Rug was at work she would definitely let brian hop on the xbox but, but i was smart i don't take the xbox to work i take the wiring oh <laughs> yeah he wouldn't take the xbox he would only take like the power supply yeah and, and then i get phone calls like every minute, like, what you think of all that? This is going crazy. Hey, you gotta... My gamers know out there how serious it is. I get it, schoolwork comes first, but back then I was not about that. I was about joining phase and hitting a trick shot. And you did yeah. it. And I did it. I did it a few times, and then in the end, I surrendered. Can I just say, Dad? Not a lot of people know this. So, my dad and I used to argue a lot because of video games, and one specific reason, Dad. Remember when you would freaking turn on Netflix? Oh, okay. my God. The, the internet. Hat. Listen, internet. we didn't have the best internet in our childhood home. So every time Papa Rug would go on Netflix and stream a movie, I would get two bars on Call of Duty. I would lag. I would get connection interrupted. And I'm like, Dad, turn off Netflix. And he's like, you turn off the game. And I'm like, no, I want to play. And he's like, it's bedtime. You go to sleep. Uh -huh. We would argue so much. But once I joined FaZe and then I got a career out of it, like you guys started understanding. I stopped more. watching Netflix. No, no, no. We upgraded our internet, yeah. guys. Don't worry. Wait, don't worry. can I just funny thing? Every time I turn on the Netflix, Brian, his door open. There he comes. Mm -hmm. You know, my wife, she comes and she said, Turn on the Netflix. He's playing. I said, Well, yeah. I want to watch hey, too. You know? You a real one for real. Right. I'm always I was going to ask the viewers out there, first and foremost, if their parents are like this. I used to hate when Brian and my dad would get in arguments, even if I'm not the one arguing with them. Let's say my dad and Brian got an argument. If I would try to go to my dad, my dad would like, Go out of my face. <laughs> The argument was between you guys. Okay, Brian, I owe you an apology. You know how we're saying we used to get mad at him, take his game, and at first, only at first, we didn't believe on you that this can get you somewhere. Because so now, social media wasn't as big back then. No, before. and this is an example that if you want to do something, put your mind to it. Brian, convince your parents if you think that thing's going to get you somewhere. He didn't give up, despite everything that we're saying and more and more. Oh my he gosh. kept pushing and pushing and look at him now. Don't worry guys. Thank you mom. It was everyone I used to talk to. Like people in high school would make fun of me. Like I could have given up so many times because of how many people doubted me but I just saw a passion in this. You know I just I loved it and I'm like even if it doesn't make me money I just want to do it. Like I love it. Yeah, yeah. and it's not for everyone. Um, We're not saying leave your study and go play game. It's definitely good. like keep your education first mm -hmm. and then do what you love on the side until you start seeing that side business like grow and you think you need to take time off school. That's yeah. what I did at least. Mm -hmm. Bro, Brian, listening to like all these childhood stories of you made me realize even though we lived in the same house and we're only a year apart, our childhoods were so different. Like you would come home from school, rip your backpack off, <laughs> run straight to your Xbox. Where would he run, Ron? Where would I go? Basketball. If the Suns game was at like 4 or 5 p.m., I would go straight into my room after school and watch the Suns game, but usually the Suns play at 7 p.m. So I used to beg my mom if she could drop me off at the gym because I didn't drive at the time. I was younger and I would go play basketball for how many hours a day? Oh my God. <laughs> 
God, I would pick him up late at like before it gets dark. Yeah, like dark. I would play so much, but me and Brian had such different childhoods. I was all basketball, 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 whether it was watching or playing. Yeah. And he was all video games. And it got to the point where, bro, I tried to get you into basketball, which it worked. You love basketball now. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. you tried to get me into video games, and that just never worked. That it didn't just worked. They can't yeah, even play Mario Party. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Don't start with the Mario Party. Yeah. I'm the best at Mario Party. My dad gets so freaking well, mad when we play. play. But I'm not gonna lie, Dad, like, you're getting better. I beat them last night. Like, that was your passion, video games, and you turn it into something, and then my passion was basketball, and then I turned that into something. Like, we both took what we yes. loved as kids. Yes. And that's living proof that you guys can do the same. Yeah. You said you know the story I'm about to tell. Like, am I allowed to say it on camera? Because I don't know. What are you gonna say? When I broke up with that girl in high school. Okay, first and foremost, guys, we were in high school, so we are not talking about Jackie. Just to get that Okay, straight. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we were in high school. We actually, bro, we weren't that young. I was a senior, you were a junior. That means I was 17, 18, you were like 16, 17. So I was dating this girl for a little bit. Things didn't work out, whatever. Just like usual couple, typical relationship stuff. You try it, it didn't work out. So me and this girl broke up. We went our separate ways. I cut off my contact with her. She cut off her contact with me. We didn't even speak anymore. So that's why I found it really, 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 really weird when one day I was at school, and it was during lunchtime. She started walking up to me. In my head, I'm like, oh my goodness, we haven't talked in months. Why is this girl walking up to me? She comes up to me, she's like, hey, can I talk to you? I'm like, all right, let's talk. I thought she was gonna talk about the breakup or trying to get back together. I don't know. <laughs> Dude, she pulls me to the side and says, I don't know how to tell you this. You're not gonna believe this, blah, blah, blah. Your brother hit me up on Twitter <laughs> and tried to like DM me. I did ask her if she wanted to hang out. because. Oh she my God. Yeah, hold on, hold on. So then I didn't believe her at first. I'm like, like, bro, if, if you want to like find a way to talk to me, or, like get back together, accusing my brother of doing something so stupid is not the way to do it. That's not gonna work. So she showed me the messages and he asked her to hang out after we broke up. That's my freaking brother. You don't do that. So usually me and Brian, we argue, we butt heads, like whatever, we're, we're brothers. Like that's normal brother stuff. We used to argue all the time. This was different. Like let's say we argue, bro, after what? Five minutes, 10 minutes, we're laughing oh, at each other. We're playing, playing basketball outside. That's like, why we never interfere. But this time, I was like, bro, you don't DM your brother's girl. Like, that's so ex. Okay, your brother's I'm just ex. Kidding. Listen, listen. I was like so new to like relationship stuff. Like, I never had a girlfriend or anything. So, I didn't know it was wrong. Like, I was just an idiot. So, I'm like, oh, my brother broke up with her. But I've met her before because Brandon brought her around. So, I thought she was cool. And, <laughs> hold up. Back in high school, I actually had Twitter clout. Bro, I think I had like 100, 200,000 followers on Twitter Ooh. because, because of the Call of Duty community. Like I was a COD gamer. A lot of people were confused why I had followers, but it allowed me to slide in them DMs and it just so happened to be Brandon's ex. So after she showed me proof of the messages, bro, I'm not gonna lie, like I should be mature and wait till me and Brian get home and then I'll confront him about it. But I was so mad and just in disbelief that he would actually DM my ex that I found him at lunch and like, oh, I regret doing this so bad, <laughs> but I went up to his face and I was like confronting him face to face. You caused the scene. Dude, that's what I'm saying. I caused it, I was like, what the me, why would you DM this? And people were like watching. They're like, dude, these guys are brothers. Like, they thought we were gonna fight, so everyone formed a crowd. Brandon, just tell me what you did. Fight. I picked my brother up <laughs> to put him in the trash can, but then my common sense kicked in, and I was like, yo, there's my little brother at the end of the day. No matter what he did was wrong, and you know, I'm very, very annoyed and upset with him. I put him down and didn't end up putting him in the trash can. Thank you. It's not like you still embarrassed me in front of 100 people. You embarrassed me. You freaking DM my girls. Like, no, my Bennett. That's still embarrassing on me. So, but number one, just for you guys to imagine the scene, it wasn't like I picked Brian up and walked over there. No, it was in a freaking public high school with probably 80 people watching. I mean, social media wasn't really a thing back then, but it would have been all over TikTok and Instagram and everything right. if there was social media. Everyone like had their phones out, but at the time without social media, I think they would just record it to like send it to one of their friends over text message. Bro, you know if I mean? someone has a video, I know they probably don't, but please <laughs> just like tweet it at us or something. Or post yeah. it on TikTok. Guys, I see it. serious question. Now that we're on the topic. Since I know you like sliding in ex-girlfriend's DMs. Have you DM'd Jackie since we broke up? Oh, this is a no. I'm full. Huh? <laughs> oh my god, no, Brandon. Wait, can I just say? I wasn't mad that uh, you slid in her DMs. I was mad that she came up to me and snitched and didn't, say, and didn't hang out with you. I was waiting for bro. you guys to finish. For real, bro, come on. Wait, so can I DM her now? Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Bro, come on. Should I talk about when you flipped when you were born? Since he was born, you wanted to game. You know how I know that? When I have him, my sister was in the room and Ron was scared to be in the room. You weren't in the room of my birth? No. He was scared. What? Because when he saw the birth of Brandon, he didn't know what a birth was. <laughs> he oh, wait. 
fainted. Wait, wait, wait. That's why fainted? he fainted. Once Brian, he was born, my sister told me the story. She said, I swear to God, they put him in a table like this. He flipped. And the doctor goes, whoa, whoa, whoa. Since he came out, he wanted to do something. Back to like that topic of like the psychic. I was gonna say, you know how like we think that there's something attached to me, like a spirit? There oh, is. Brandon! Oh Bro. my God, you have to shower after that one. Oh my God. Since I believe there's like something attached to me, like a spirit. I mean, at this point, it's not a debate. I literally want to like go to a psychic or a medium to see if like they can see if there's something attached to me and see if there's a way they can get rid of it. Like this to might do. might be a good thing. Well, no, I mean, it just depends. Like I low-key want to document the experience too. Like if I went to go see like a medium or a psychic. This is the final story. I had a best friend back in middle school, bro. I wish I was still his friend. He was the greatest human of all time. His name is Cheyenne. So if you're out there watching it, I tried, bro, I tried texting his old yeah. number. I remember his number by heart. We used to play video games all the time and we created our own gaming clan called WG. You know what that stood for? It was good. No, we're good. Oh. It was literally the the dumbest clan of all time. That was around the time where people would make names for themselves. That's when I became Rugrat. He was Pringle. His <laughs> name was Pringle. I don't know why in that time era of like Call of Duty, like people would be random names. Like they would just find something like big and then they would just make that their name online. We were both thinking in the living room, like what should our names be? I'm the one that said Pringle and he's the one that said Rugrat. Cheyenne, if you're watching, you remember Mama Rug? I used to love this kid. He was so Smart. very respectful. He was a Pistons fan. When he said Rugrats and I said Pringles. I liked Rugrat and he liked Pringles. So we switched. I'm like, okay, I'll be Rugrat. Now, can we just imagine if we didn't switch? I would have been FaZe Pringle right now. <laughs> oh my God, like the chip? I'm so happy that I stuck no. with Rugrat. <laughs> I'm sorry, I would not have subscribed to FaZe Pringle. I don't know what Cheyenne's doing nowadays. All I know is that he was gonna be a doctor and his parents were against him gaming. So mm -hmm. it just didn't work out, guys. Just like I said, work for some people. Look at him, from gaming to a doctor. He probably became a doctor. I haven't heard from Cheyenne in a while, but. I can guarantee you he's like a, a heart surgeon. Would you guys subscribe to FaZe Pringle or no? I mean, I'm full guys. That is the end of my first ever mukbang. We have obviously, as you guys know, countless amount of stories I that I would love to share. I wanted to say the fans think they see everything and they know everything, but we have so many stories that we could share with you guys that happened before we started YouTube channels. And like, I'm sure just like you families out there, there are so many freaking stories, interesting, entertaining, surprising, shocking yeah. stories. That Exposed we're gonna do. I just wanna thank you guys for watching. If you guys like these types of videos, drop a like. Make sure you subscribe. Dad, anything you want to say? No, thank you. I'll subscribe and uh, enjoy the video and enjoy the food too. On that note, we are all out. Peace. Peace.